In this video we'll continue with the order of operations and do examples from page 5, 6 and 7. So here's page 5, these examples, page 6, these examples here, page 7, these examples. Okay, so let's start with page 5 and what would you do if you had 3 and uh, so write this one down, 3 parenthesis 5 plus 2 times 4. Please write this down and then try and figure it out. So, um, we've got to calculate this expression using the order of operations. So we start with parentheses, do everything inside parentheses first, then we do exponents, then we multiply or divide, then we add or subtract. Right? So do we have parentheses? Yep, there's parentheses here, so we have to do everything inside the parentheses first. Now, when you go inside the parentheses, you see that we have an addition and a multiplication. So we're starting inside the parentheses. Which should we do first? Add to get 7 or multiply to get 8? Which one? If you follow PEMDAS, you should multiply first, right? And 2 times 4 is 8. So we have 5 plus 8 inside the parentheses now. And one of the tricks is to just take your time, write things step by step, and get the answer. And don't, um, like, a lot of students get um, all worked up about having to write things down. But if you think about English class, where you have to write pages and pages about Shakespeare, or um, accountancy, where you have to write tons and tons of numbers, I mean, it's not so bad. Like, this is just one step. You don't have to do it all in your head. Just write this down, okay? and then write the next step and then the next step and it really isn't that much compared to other classes. I don't know, for some reason we seem to think that we should be able to get a math answer immediately and we, we for some reason a lot, of, a lot of us don't have the patience to kind of write things down step by step. So anyway, just something to think, think about. Um, so now we have, okay, 3 times 5 plus 8 and the 5 plus 8 is in parentheses. So even though we have a multiplication and an addition, we do actually do the addition first because the addition is inside the parentheses. Right, so we go 5 plus 8, 13, then multiply by 3, and now we just one operation left, 3 times 13, which is 3 threes is 9, 3 ones is 3, 39. Okay, so that's that one. Um, how about this one here? 13 minus 3 times 6 minus 4. See if you can, what would you do first here? Again, you go from left to right, and you do all the parentheses, then you go from left to right, do all the exponents, go from left to right, do multiply or divide, and go from left to right, and add or subtract. So if I go from left to right and look for parentheses, I have parentheses right here. It is 6 minus 4, so I do what's inside here, and that gives me 2, right? So just write it all out again, just like that. Now you have two operations left. 3 times 2 and a subtraction. Which one do you do first? Go from left to right and we must multiply, right? Multiply and then subtract. 30 minus 6, 7, right? So how about this one here? 5 and in, in this next example we have these square brackets. Now there's no difference between a square bracket and a parenthesis. It means the same thing. So this square bracket deal here is is just a it's just like a parenthesis. Okay, it means multiply. But uh, sometimes you'll see them because in the same expression there'll be the curved parentheses, and they don't want to do another curved parentheses because they want to make it more clear, and so they'll do this little square bracket. But it means the same thing; it just means multiply. So we're doing parentheses first. And if I go from left to right, I'll say, oh, I've got this square bracket. So I need to do everything inside here first. Okay? Now, inside here, I have 3 times 2 plus 2 times 4. I have an addition, and I have two multiplications. So how would you calculate what's inside here? Go ahead. Would you add first, or multiply first, or what? Inside here, we would multiply first, right? 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 4. We can also then multi we, so we multiply this one, then we keep going, and then we multiply this one, 8, right? Now we have 5 times uh, 6 plus 8. So do I multiply or do I do in what's inside the parentheses now? 
You gotta keep doing what's inside parentheses, right? And 6 plus 8 is 14. So I've got 5 times 14. And then I just calculate that, right? 14, 5, multiply. 5 times 4, 20, carry the 2. 5 times 1 is 5, and 2 is 7. Okay? So the answer is 70. So what I'd like you to do now is these three examples all by yourself. This one, this one, and this one. And they're just like the ones we just did, but I've mixed them around a bit. So I just want you to really look at the parenthesis, the exponent rules and think about how you're going to solve these guys. Okay? So look at your order of operations and think about it and try and get the right answer on all these and then I'll do them quickly and you can just check your answers. Okay? So please press pause and do these three examples and then I'll do them. And then check the video to see if you get the right answers. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So I'll start with this first one. I go from left to right, I do all the parentheses. We have a parentheses. Parentheses is 8 minus 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. So now I have 19 minus 5 times 2. Now I go from left to right, I look for exponents, no exponents. Go from left to right, look for multiplier divide, I have a multiply. 5 times 2 is 10. All I have to do now is subtract, and I get 9. Okay, on this one, um, I need to, let's see, on this one, I need to go from left to right and do all the parentheses. And I have, um, I can see I've got this square bracket parenthesis. Now, so I do everything inside here first. Now, inside here I have multiply, multiply, and subtract. So I need to go from left to right and do the multiplies. 2 times 6, 12. And do this guy, 9. And then I need to subtract. Okay, that, so I, again, I have a parenthesis. I need to calculate what's inside there first before I do anything else. 12 minus 9 is 3. So, now I have 8 times 3, 24. Okay? And then I go to this one, last example. And I go from left to right, and I do parentheses first. And yes, there's a parenthesis. And inside the parentheses, there's a subtraction and a division. Which one do we do first? Well, we've got to do multiply or divide, and then add or subtract. So we multiply or divide, we divide here. 12 divided by 6 is 2. So I got 4 minus 2, and then 7, right? Now, I got to do inside the parentheses, 4 minus 2 is 2. 7 times that is 14, okay? On to page 6 now. I'm going to do... Oops. On to page 6, I'm going to do these examples, okay? Now, I'll start with... Uh, these two and then I'll have you guys do the ones below okay so starting with these two examples here um, I've got 8 minus 3 times 9 minus 7 now the first thing I need to do is go from left to right and do all the parentheses and if I go from left to right I see these parentheses right away so I do whatever's inside there now 8 minus 3 is 5 right then I see these parentheses so I must do what's inside there. 9 minus 7 is 2. And then I multiply 10. Okay with that? Now this one, you go from left to right. You must do all the parentheses first. So if I go from left to right, yeah, I see these par this parenthesis here. Inside the parenthesis, there's a 3 squared. What's 3 squared? 3 to the power of 2 is 3 times 3, which is 9. So I have 5 times that plus 30 divided by 10. And don't be afraid to write it out. Just take one step, write it down, take another step, write it down, take another step, write it down. Just imagine how much you would have to write if this was a question on Shakespeare. But it's not. It's math. Like, it doesn't really take that much. And the problem with math is if you make one mistake, you're wrong. And you get no points. So you've got to take it step by step. And I'll give you, by the way, actually on your homework course, I'll give you points for showing your work. So you're required to go step by step. You get points for that, show, being neat and showing your work. And uh, like I'm just saying on it, in a test situation, you know, 
if you're talking about a right or wrong answer, I mean, if you make a mistake in math, you're wrong. And so the trick with math is one of the biggest things you got to learn is just to write neatly and be patient. Just take your time. Step by step by step. No rush. Take your time. So, um, uh, so anyway, go from left to right, and we look. We've no exponents now. Um, we do have a parenthesis, but there's only one number inside it, and so this just means multiply now. You don't have to do anything inside of a parenthesis, right? So now we need to look for multiplies or divides from left to right. I see this multiply. That gives 45, and then I see this division. 30 divided by 10, that gives 3. And now all I have is an addition to do, and the answer is 48. So please press pause and do these two examples all by yourself, and then check the video and see if you get the right answer. So please press pause, do these two examples, and then check the video and see if you get the right answer. Okay. Okay, I hope you press pause and try it. I'm going to do it now. Starting with this one, you got 4 times 10 squared minus 15 divided by 5. We go from left to right. Look for parentheses. Here's parentheses. Do whatever's inside there. 10 squared means 10 times 10, which is 100. So we have 4 times 100 minus 15 divided by 5. Now we go from left to right. Look for exponents. There's no exponents. Go from left to right. Look for multiply or divide. Yep, yeah, here's a multiply, here's a divide. So we do this one, 400. We do this one, 15 divided by 5 is 3. And then we just have a subtraction. And that'll give 397, right? 397. And then we do this example. Now we've got, um, we've got to go from left to right and do parentheses. And yes, we have parentheses. Uh, 3 minus 1, that gives 2. 15 minus 9. And we've got to do that one next, that's 6, and then we just have 2 times 6, 12. Okay. Okay, so make sure you check your answers on those, fix them if you need to. Now we're going on to page 7. We'll do these four examples on page 7. Uh, I'll do uh, this one, have you guys do this one, then I'll do this one, have you guys do this one. Okay. So, page 7. Let's start with the first example. 3 times 2 to the power of 4 plus 35 divided by 5 minus 4 squared. Let's see. We go from left to right and look for parentheses. No parentheses. Go from left to right and calculate all the exponents. What exponents do we see? Power of 4 and then power of 2. So our first step is going to be going from left to right, calculating the exponent, exponent, writing it down. Okay? So we could start with 2 to the power of 4. What's that? Calculate 2 to the power of 4. That's 2 times itself 4 times, right? What does that give? 2 to the power of 4. 16, isn't it? So now we have 3 times 16 plus 35 divided by 5. Minus, and what's 4 squared? 4 squared is 4 times 4, isn't it? Which is 16. So we've, there's no parentheses. We've done all the exponents from left to right. Now we go on to multiplying or dividing from left to right, whatever appears first, right? So we've got a multiply here, 3 times 16. Three six is eighteen, carry one, three ones is three and one is four. So we've got that one. And we have a division also. Thirty-five divided by five. What's that? Seven, right? And now we, we have we're at this point. We've got an addition and a subtraction. So Parentheses are done, exponents are done, multiplies or divides are done from left to right. Now we add or subtract from left to right, whatever appears first. So we go from left to right, and the first thing is the addition. 47, 48 plus 7 is 55. And then we have, so we have 55 minus 16. And now we do the subtraction, right? 
So that's a 4, this becomes 15. 15 minus 6 is 9. 4 minus 1 is 3. So 39. Okay? So please do this one by yourself. 2 times 3 to the power of 4 plus 18 divided by 9 minus 2 to the power of 3. Please press pause and do this one by yourself. And then check the video to see if you get the right answer. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and at least tried it. I'm going to go through it now. So again, the first thing is we um, go from left to right and do all the exponents. Sorry, one sec. Go from left to right and do all the exponents. We have 3 to the power of 4 and we have 2 to the power of 3. So calculating 3 to the power of 4, that would be 3 times itself 4 times. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, 27 times 3 ends up being 81. Okay, So we've got 2 times that. And then we have this exponent over here, sorry this should be red, shouldn't it? This exponent here, 2 to the power of 3 uh, makes 2 times itself 3 times, which is 4 times 2, 8. Okay. So we've gone from left to right and done all the exponents. Now we're going to go from left to right and multiply or divide, whichever comes first. We have 2 times 81, which is 162. We have 18 divided by 9, that's 2. And so we've done all the multiplies or divides. Now we go from left to right and add or subtract whatever comes first. So the first thing we see is add this plus this, 164. And now we just have subtraction. So 1. 5, 6, 156, right? Okay, so let's try this one. And here we have, you know, a square bracket and things like that. So we're going to go from left to right and do all the parentheses first. Now, when I go from left to right, I see the 8 plus 2, and that makes 10, but you don't do that because that's an addition. You don't start with addition, right? But I do see this parenthesis. See that? Start here and inside here. So I start inside here. I've got to do everything inside here first. Now I have an addition 6 plus 4 which makes 10 but I don't do that because you don't do addition first. I have this multiplication but I also have this parentheses inside of a parentheses. So I'm going inside the red uh, square brackets and now I've got these parentheses to think about. So you've got to do inside the red parentheses and inside the red parentheses there's another parentheses so you have to do inside here. Now 3 minus 1 is 2. So inside the red parentheses we have 6 plus 4 times 2. So we have an addition and a multiplication. Which one of these do we do first? Multiply or add? I'm still calculating what's inside the red parentheses. So I multiply, don't I? Multiply and then add. So multiplying, we get 8. 6 plus 8 is what? 6 plus 8 is 14. Okay? And, you know, I was ignoring the 8 plus 2 times that the whole time. Because I was just calculating what was inside the parentheses first. <whistles> All the way to there. Once you get to there, you should be okay. We've got an add and we have a multiply. The square bracket is, is just like a parenthesis, it just means multiply. 2 times 14, 28. Now we just have 8 plus 28, and so we'll just add those and we get 36. Okay? So please press pause and do this guy all by yourself, and then check the video to see if you get the correct answer. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. Now again, you might be tempted to go 6 and 3 makes 9. That would be completely wrong because you're adding to begin with. You might be then tempted to do 9 plus 5, but that's also wrong. The first thing we must do is whatever's inside this parenthesis. But even inside this parenthesis, we have to still follow the order of operations. And inside the, the square parenthesis, we have more parentheses. And so these guys come first because you're going inside the red parentheses or the square brackets. Then you have more parentheses, 8 minus 5, right? So you've got to do that guy first. And he makes 3. So inside the red we have this. We have a multiplication 
and an addition. What comes first? Multiply or add? Multiply, right? 15. And 9 and 15 makes 24. And so what I've done was I've calculated whatever was inside the red parentheses first. I'm doing parentheses first. So all parentheses are now done. So I'm done with that. And now I can do the rest. So I had 6 plus 3 times that all the way through. I just didn't write it down. Because I just wanted to make it clear that I was just doing whatever's inside parentheses first. So now I have a multiply and I have an addition. What comes first? Multiply or add? Multiply. 3 times 24, 72. And then add 6, 78. 